going up everybody James here with honest cigar reviews and again we have another pipe video here and uh, yeah so as you guys probably know from the video from the title I'm smoking a very very beautiful bullseye flake here Woo! look at that comes in uh, P Peter Stokeby makes this and it, I don't know if you could see the black the center there is black Cavendish and it's really just a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, flake here. It's actually the first flake I've ever smoked, and it comes in bulk, so it's very, very inexpensive. So you have uh, pressed uh, Virginias and Perique, so that'd be like a vapor. Um, so if you guys don't know what a vapor is, it's Virginia Perique. A lot of cigar guys don't know that. I didn't know that. And then the center is just a little black Cavendish, and I'd say it's the perfect amount to sweeten it up but not be like an aromatic per se. And uh, I love it. I actually, I like it so much, I, I, I mix uh, Black Cavendish uh, in my English blends now. Just to sweeten them up if I, if I want a little less of that full body flavor. Um, so yeah, let's light this thing up. Peter Stokeby's Luxury Bullseye Flake. It's just a really nice medium to full body. Pretty strong. I'd say the nicotine is stronger than the flavor. So so you got you gotta be careful. Now of course there's two ways to do flake tobaccos. Rub them out and, and do like the gravity fill method or like the three uh, step method. Or you can kinda like fold and stuff and um, I don't know, I kinda like both with this because if I, you know, rub it out, it smokes uh, cooler, it, it, uh, it burns easier. And then you get like that, that sweet boost of Cavendish that kind of comes out of nowhere. But if you rub it out, you kind of get Cavendish throughout the bowl. Which isn't bad either. It's just... Um, I kind of like the surprise of like a burst of sweetness too. So I, I'm a mystery guy, so I like that. Like right there, I just got a little boost of sweetness on the end of the draw. It's very, very good. Very, very inexpensive. Um, I think it's my, yeah, it's my first flake. I think it's my second Virginia tobacco. So I'm not like an expert by any, by any means right now. And pipe tobaccos, but I can tell you what I like Virginias probably more than I like Balkan, uh, Balkan and English blends. Smoking my uh, diplomat Missouri Meerschaum diplomat with a Forever Stem eight inch Church Warden. I still need to review this, so keep a lookout for that review. I love the church warden, it cools the smoke down. It also makes it so that you can't really hold it in your teeth very well. So I'm not tempted to just hold it in my mouth and puff on it continually. I have to hold it and take my time. and So I find that it I get cooler results that way as well. I just love the uh, Nimrod pipe lighter. It's my uh, grandpa's. It was his. That's the perfect amount of spicy perique. I love that. Um, yeah, some people don't like Nimrod pipe lighters because the you know fluid lighters you could you know they kind of ghost your bulb a little bit. You can kind of taste the fluid, but I find that if you fill it kind of low. And that you, if you produce kind of a smaller flame, that's kind of a little too large. I just filled it up, but and you just kind of lightly tap the tobacco, like this. Then I really don't get any flavor, or barely, barely any flavor f coming from the fluid. So, and usually I don't care if it's an English blend anyway uh, about the fluid because it's just it's a strong tobacco. I don't really care. So. 
I will gravitate toward a toward a, a butane lighter if I'm smoking Aramac, so. Yeah, so I think this stuff is like two dollars an ounce or something like that. And um, I don't know. I, I think I got 25 individual discs and if you have a large bowl, you could put two of them in there. If you have a small bowl like this corn cob, it's perfect for one uh, slice. So I like that about it. You know, and so for five bucks, I got about 25 slices, and that is a real deal, really. So Peter knows what he's doing. And I also really want to try. I want to try the navy blend also because this, this is so good. I figure why the navy blend, uh, navy flake might be pretty good. It has a tiny bit of creamy, toasted smoothness, caramel flavor from the Cavendish. A nice uh, zangy, zingy, uh, citrusy kind of Virginia and the spicy kind of freak. Uh, so this is just really well balanced. I'm at six minutes, so I should probably hang up on you guys. Definitely get some Peter Stokeby's uh, Luxury Bullseye Flake, if, especially if you're a vapor. I'm sure you've already had it. But if you haven't and you want to kind of break out of the aromatic mold and, and smoke something else, this is a perfect transition. It has a little bit of that black cavendish to kind of break you into the uh, Virginia tobacco world. And uh, that's it, guys. I will see you later. Thank you for watching this review. And I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.